Tonight, stunning allegations of sexual assault against a NASA engineer. Eric Sim charged with attacking six different women he met on dating apps. This image, shared exclusively with NBC's Houston affiliate KPRC2, capturing the moments just after police arrested Sim at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. NASA is a trusted brand, and because he was a professional, it helped build their confidence that he was who he said he was and that uh, they were safe and they weren't. The alleged assaults happening at his townhouse near downtown Houston. New court documents filed by the district attorney say Sim connected with the women on apps like Hinge, OkCupid, and East Meets East. He frequently uses these dating apps to communicate with multiple individuals at the same time and is portraying himself as somebody who wants a committed relationship. Prosecutors say between 2019 and 2022, Sim invited the women back to his home and forced himself on top of them. One of the women telling police she may have been intoxicated at the time of the assault. The district attorney now concerned there could be more victims. Because Sim has an extensive travel history, both nationally and internationally, we fear that there could be other victims who may not know that he's charged yet. Sim has pleaded not guilty. His attorney calling the allegations false and saying the relations were consensual, but didn't turn out the way the complainants hoped they would. Adding, we look forward to presenting the whole truth to a jury. NASA Johnson star. Sim gaining fame online for starring in NASA's viral parody of Psy's 2012 hit music video, Gangnam Style. Star. which has more than 8.6 million views. NASA says they cooperated with authorities during the arrest in late February, but declined to comment on the ongoing investigation. The agency telling NBC's Houston affiliate in a statement they would take appropriate personnel action based on investigations, both external and internal. Sim now out of jail on a $700,000 bond, but remaining under 24-hour house arrest with total monitoring of all of his electronic communications. The district attorney says this case should serve as a warning about meeting strangers online. Credibility is more than skin deep. There's just more to each of us than not just who we say we are, but where we work or what profession we're in. None of these women suspected that they were dating a serial rapist. And yet, that's exactly what happened. Okay, Marissa Parra joins us tonight live from Miami. So Marissa, the DA talks a lot about trying to establish someone's credibility before you go on a date with someone, right? When you meet them online. But this guy didn't make up the fact that he was a NASA engineer. He actually was one. What can people on dating apps do in these kinds of cases? And, and are his accounts still active? It's a great question, and it's interesting because there was a Facebook group where local women tried to warn other women of Sim, but dating apps really have their hands tied with these sorts of things uh, until people come forward with either irrefutable proof or there is some sort of actual police charge. We did actually hear back. We got a statement from Match Group. They own Hinge and OkCupid, and they said in part um, that what has been reported is horrible and has no place anywhere, saying they will cooperate fully with investigators, but adding they banned his account as soon as they received the report on what happened. Tom? Marissa Parra for us. Marissa, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.